Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Identity 15 powered by WSO2 Identity Server. Today we are going to talk about how to authenticate your Flutter apps with the WSO2 Identity Server. Before moving on, let me first introduce myself. My name is Achinta Isuru and I am a software engineer at WSO2 Identity Access Management Team. First of all, let's briefly discuss what Flutter is. Flutter is an open source UI software development kit created by Google. The main advantage of Flutter is that it can be used to develop cross-platform applications from a single code base for any web browser, Android, iOS, Linux, Mac OS, and even Windows. So now we know what Flutter is. So let's get into the demo. To get started, we need to ensure a few prerequisites are in place. First, make sure you have downloaded and installed the latest version of WSO2 Identity Server from this link. Today, I will be using the latest version 6.1 in my demo. After that, you need to export the public key of the Identity Server. We will be using this to ensure trust between the emulator and the Identity Server. To export this, you should navigate to this location and use this command to export the public key. After exporting, you will see the following PEM file in the location. This this PEM uh, this PEM file in this location. So I have done this. So if you uh, after you completed this step, you will see this PEM file in this location. So let me get back into the presentation. Okay. So. As I mentioned earlier, since we, since we'll be working with an emulator, we need to establish a trust between the emulator and the identity server. So we will be using the exported public key to inform the emulator that it should trust our identity server. This can be easily done by this can be easily achieved by dragging and dropping the key onto the emulator. So let me show you how it's done. So we have this PEM file or we have this public key exported and let me get this emulator here so we can be easily this can be easily done by this dragging and dropping the key onto the emulator and now the emulator will trust our identity server so let's go back into the presentation now okay so now that we cover up the prerequisite, let's dive into the demo. First of all, you should understand the key dependency for authenticating your Flutter application with the identity server is Flutter Apport, and I will be using this library in our demo. So, what is Flutter Apport? A Flutter Apport is a wrapper package for Apport. So, you can find more details of, about the Flutter Apport from this link. To begin, first make sure you have an identity server up and running. So uh, I have an identity server up and running. Here, you should do few configurations in the identity server to able to communicate. Sorry, you able to authenticate your Flutter apps with the identity server. So let's get into the configuration. So I have this WS2 identity server up and running. To begin the configuration we will first create a user that will log into our application to create a user you need to go into the manage section and go into the user section and create this plus new user button so you can fill fill in the details of this user but for this demonstration i will create a user named anna taylor so let me create a user named anna taylor here taylor and for this email i will use anna at test.com and create password as well so for this demonstration you will not you you do not need to worry about these sections so let's uh, for this demonstration let's click next and uh, this will give you a summary of the user that you are being you will create and just finish and you, you uh, so this will be the user that will be logged into our flutter application 
next we need to create an application to communicate with our flutter app so to do that let's go to this develop section and we need to go into application section and create plus new application from this we will create this um, mobile application so uh, let me give a name here as flutter connect and as well so let me get this redirect url that you should do yeah so this will be our redirect url so we have created the flutter application so in my flutter application i have a profile page where i like to display the user's details when logging to achieve this we need to configure the user attributes so to uh, achieve that let's go into this user attribute section so in my uh, in my application i require these uh, attributes uh, first of all is given name and then is family name sorry and also we need the birth date um, and country phone number and also the photo and finally after you set up this use attributes and also make uh, and also you can customize it any way you want you can add, uh, request any other use attributes as well but for this demo i will uh, use only these ones so after that uh, click on update to update this application now you have set up the configuration in the identity server so let's move on to coding with flutter So the first step is to configure the redirect URL. To set up the redirect URL, you can go to this info file on this iOS uh, slash runner and you can add uh, this predict element. So you can, uh, so I, I will just copy it and paste. So uh, you can use this uh, dict element to uh, add this redirect URL into your emulator so just save it and next next let's talk about the uh, dependencies that our project will depend on so uh, first of all our, uh, as i mentioned earlier so this will mainly depend on this flutter app auth to uh, to uh, handle this authentication part and i will be also using this uh, flutter svg package to uh, show this logo on our application and also this HTTP package to call the user info uh, URL and as well um, you can see that uh, our application has already been set up so this is because uh, this uh, the main focus of this video is to tell you how to authenticate your flutter apps with identity server so I thought it uh, discussing on how to create application and how to create this ui is a bit out of scope for this video so that's why i have already set up our application here so first of all we need to set this variable so the client id redirect url the discover url and the user info endpoint all of this can be get from our uh, the console of the identity server so the redirect url we can get from here so this is our redirect URL. The client ID is also here, so we can get the client ID. The discover URL and the uh, user info uh, URL can be uh, we can get from this info tab. So let's get the discover URL here and also the user info endpoint. So, uh, so that's out of the way. Now it's time to uh, authenticate the user. For this demonstration, I will be using the authorization code grant to communicate with the token service of the identity server. To facilitate this process, Flutter app auth has this has a method called 
uh, authorize and exchange code so i will be using that so let's kick into that yeah so i have al already written these functions in this application because i thought it would be an unnecessary thing to uh, code on this video so in this login function as i mentioned earlier i uh, we can use this authorize and exchange code fun uh, method given by the flutter app both for this we require the client id which we get from the console of the uh, which we can get from the application the details of this application and the retrieve url and the discovery url and also we require the scopes scopes can be get from this user attribute section and these are the scopes that require to get these user attributes into the application and here as well uh, i have just used the set state so if we also in your uh, application you can use a more a uh, comprehensive state management uh, tools like a block or provider so i have set this um, is user logged in variable to true and also i got this id token and the access token because uh, um, this will be required to communicate with the user in fine point now uh, let's see the uh, logout function as well so logout function uh, we uh, the the flutter app both provide a function called end session we can use that to to log out and for, for this we uh, we should pass the id token hint and the redirect url and the discovery url as well so here we have set the variable is logged in to false so we require so this is the function that i will be using to uh, call to the user info endpoint so i will be using this http package to do that and also we require access token as well to set as a header and after that uh, the user info endpoint will return the user info response and it will have the necessary attributes that require to display on the profile page so it will have the given name family name country phone number and picture so now we have set up our application so let's run it on the emulator to see the results so we have the sign in button to, uh, to start the authentication process uh, we can uh, set not now so these are the details that we not that, that were not set for this user so let add a telephone number here and also we can add a birth date as well so let's set something like uh, maybe 97 August 1st and also set a country let's set it as United States and the photo URL so I already have this photo URL I got from this unsplash so it is copyright free so let this get this one copy image address okay so now we have successfully logged into our flutter application so let's view the profile so we can see the uh, name the last name the date of birth mobile the country and also the photo so these were the user attributes that were sent from the identity server to the flutter application and also now you can sign out as well so that's it so we have successfully authenticated the flutter app with the wso2 identity server so that's it for this video I hope you learned something from it and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask it on the comment comment section below and we will see you again in a few a few weeks with another video so thank you everyone take care